What's up guys, JFM here back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a 0.9.0 update video. I haven't done one of these in forever, but there are so many new things they're adding. It's just absolutely incredible. There are so many features and cool and cool features. There's so many features that they're adding. It's absolutely ridiculous. The devs went crazy and packed basically everything in this update. It's absolutely awesome. 0.9.0 is going to be huge. Probably the biggest update since the actual release of the game on the on the iOS and Android devices. It's absolutely incredible. So I'm going to be going through everything they've talked about adding and um, yeah, we can go ahead and hit it from there. So I do want to let you guys know that the devs are planning to release this during May. Now because they're adding so, so many features, there's a great chance there's going to be a lot of bugs. So they may have to go through a few alphas to actually get the full release. This is why I say they're hoping for May, but it wouldn't surprise me if it comes later because of how many things that can go wrong. And I'm not saying they will. I'm just saying with the amount of things that they are adding, you can't blame them for, for having small bugs, uh, so small bugs in the game. So with that being said, I'm going to be going through this all in a fairly organized order. I'm going to go ahead and take it from the wiki, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys basically all the pictures, you know, all the information, all the proof, all the stuff like that. We're going to be talking about it, giving some opinions, and, and you know, and whatever like that. So without further ado, let me go ahead and tell you guys some cool stuff. So I'm going to start off with the world creation and generation. So when you create your world, you're going to have the option to create caves in this game. It's going to be fabulous. So um, here we have a picture, you know, this guy, MSPIN, asks, can we disable tall grass on other devices? And, you know, he's just talking about tall grass, right? But Tom... Chechi, Damaso Chechi, replies, there will be a switch to disable tall grass and caves. So right there, he just went ahead and said there was caves. Now, this was a while ago, uh, back in September of 2013. So, I mean, this just shows how long this has been in development. Now, this... Um, it's going to be awesome, right? So the caves will accompany will be accompanied by infinite worlds, all right? We're going to we're going to be able to have a toggle for infinite worlds, which I will talk about later in the world size section, but basically um Tomo Chechi, Tomaso Chechi, I'm just going to refer to him as Tom, Tomo, whatever, but um uh he he went ahead and went on Reddit and said um, we will have limited worlds you can create on 0.9.0, so you can get all the new generation and all the new biomes, which I will be talking about later, the caves and tall grass, and but the t the caves and tall grass are going to prove as, they're going to pose. Excuse me, they're going to pose as a problem for you know a lot of the lower devices. So you will have switches for those to be able to turn them on and actually go ahead and see them in your game, which is going to be useful for the people that don't have great devices. They can go ahead and turn off tall grass if they want caves, or turn off the caves if they want tall... I don't know why you would do that, but you probably can. So that's really, really cool. So there we have the option to generate the tall grass. Now, it automatically generates on infinite worlds, um, but it can be toggled during the creation of regular worlds, right? So the ones that are not infinite. Well, I guess they're not regular, they'd just be, the, they'd just be finite worlds, which which is the opposite of infinite. It's going to be in a in an enclosed area. So the world sizes for the finite worlds. Now there's going to be you know large, medium, small, whatever like that. So the legacy world. It's we. Uh, it's it's going to be a a size. It's going to be a pretty cool size. It's the same as what we're getting right now, 256 by 256 blocks, which is really small, smaller than the Xbox map, which is 864 times 864, you know, to make that circle. It's, it's, a, it's not a circle, <laughs> it's, a, it's a square, obviously, and um, so yeah. But um, that's the legacy, so that's just basically going to bring it back to the old times and whatever. The small, he said, is going to be bigger than the Xbox version, right? So the small world, which is bigger than legacy, legacy is just for the people that want the throwback stuff and a tiny world, the small is going to be bigger than the Xbox, um, Tom O says, so, which means, of course, this will be 864 by 864 or higher, which is going to be absolutely incredible. Um, the medium and large and whatever other sizes are not confirmed yet, but we do know they're going to be huge. Um, Tomo talked about having them 10,000 by 10,000, and um, but then again, after that, he says, what's the point of having 
um, 10,000 by 10,000 if it's not infinite because 10,000 by 10,000 is crazy huge. So he basically wanted this long um, description of that. I don't want you guys can pause the video and read it if you want to, but that's basically what he goes on to say. So the infinite world is going to display warning when you're selected, and um, it can't be selected for online play. So you're not going to be able to play um, with friends. You probably will be able to do local multiplayer, but not online worldwide realms things because that will just, you know, Mojang has to deal with the realms. So I don't believe they would want to have a ton of in infinite servers. Um, so, yes, the realms will be, uh, will be unfortunately finite, but large worlds are going to be big enough to have plenty of fun on. Excuse me. And... The Infinite Worlds are going to be for your own device, which is just going to be absolutely ridiculous. Also, along with these other world generations, we are also going to be seeing super flat worlds. Now, Tommaso Chechi, Tommaso Chechi, Tom CC on Twitter, go on ahead and tweeted, well, nothing to see here. Actually, there's nothing at all, which is sort of ironic. As you can see, it is the version 0.9.0 alpha build one. We're going to be seeing that watermark on a lot of these screenshots coming up. So no worry about that. That is the alpha. They have not released it yet. They will release the beta. I'm assuming that that's what they did last time. The alpha is before the beta. So that's how that goes. Now, if you look at this picture, you know, you may notice that this is a super flat world, which means they may have a toggle for this, um, and, and, you know, and whatever happens with that. But basically, super flat worlds are three grass, bedrock, and that's it. There's nothing under that. That's just, it's super flat. Great for creative building and stuff like that. So, of course, you know, people started asking questions like this guy, Nedge C 49 asked, will there be an option to select what type of blocks you want? So he's saying maybe you could do, I don't know, you could do one grass and two stone and then bedrock, kind of like how PC, I believe, allows you to do. So he said no, for now it will only be the classic PC version with um, bedrock and three dirt, but you will need, and he said, um, they just don't have enough time to implement um, that kind of stuff. They're really looking to get uh, get what they want in the update right now. But, you know, that won't be something that would be too hard to add, I'm assuming, for the future updates. So that is something that we can probably look forward to after 0.9.0. Now, the next thing, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about is the world menu to turn on various tasks such as large biomes and generated structures. So basically, like the PC, there are a lot of options when you are creating a world. So we are going to be seeing many of that, like, of course, you can turn on or off generated structures like caves, tall grass. You're going to be able to turn on large biomes, small biomes, maybe, I don't know. But you, you'll be able to have options to maximize your FPS and maximize uh, the gameplay quality. So that is going to be ridiculous, all right? Option to switch the world's game mode. So Tommaso Chechi went ahead and tweeted out, okay, let's say in 0 0.9.0 there are no commands because the commands are pretty difficult for them to code in for this update, so we'll be seeing them later. But he goes ahead and makes a deal and says, why don't we just add a game mode button? So now you can switch from creator to survival in the same world, which is absolutely incredible and very necessary for a lot of people. So that's really cool. You no longer have to hex edit your game or whatever, or get, you know, or you use other level dot that. So you're just going to be a button to do that. So that is really, really cool. Really, really cool. So the next thing I want to be talking about is something that you guys have been crazy <laughs> waiting for, and that is the mobs. The mobs in this game, they're adding a lot of mobs. We have passive, the passive mobs. I'll go through the passive category first. Villagers. So um, Jeb went ahead and tweeted, or not tweeted, excuse me, Instagram. He put a picture up on Instagram um, with the villager. It's got a few bones and stuff in, in the in the Dropbox, but we really care about the villagers. Now, they will have a degraded AI, meaning that you will not be able to trade with them. I don't know if they're going to be able to talk or socialize, kind of like how they do their little Squidward honking or whatever, but at least they're going to be in the game along with villages, which are a generated structure, which is, abs which is absolutely incredible. So that is going to be really, really cool. We will see villagers, which is awesome. So we will also get ocelots. As you can see, Jeb has tweeted out, um, yes, I'll add ocelots, but I'm not sure about squids yet. I don't know why squids would be much of a problem, but ocelots, very, very cool. I don't know if that means cats, but I do know that we have wolves, wolves. These are a neutral mob. And as you can see, Jeb once ahead, you know, 
went ahead and put another Instagram picture up. This wolf is tamed, so that means there will be taming, which I'll, I guess I'll talk about later. Um, I just don't know if the ocelots will be will be able to uh, be tamed. But this wolf clearly has just got that cute little collar, its head turned into the side while he's holding out the meat. So it does have that interface too, which is absolutely ridiculous. So you'll be able to have your wolf companions, and I'm assuming there'll be wolf packs out in the wild and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, nothing else really in that picture stands out to me. So going on to the next neutral mob, which is Enderman. A lot of people consider this hostile, but it is technically neutral since it doesn't attack you on site. So, Enderman, you know, this was just an imager post by, I believe, Johan. And yeah, he's just, he's working on Enderman. Now, they don't have every, everything coded in. In this picture, as you can see, his eyes aren't glowing up or anything, and he doesn't have, doesn't have a block in his hand. But, of course, this is, this is, look, this is looking good for the future. So, the next picture I want to show you guys is of slimes. Now, these are a hostile mob, and uh, yeah, basically just slime. Every, everyone knows what slimes are. I mean, this looks like basically the same world. He's just messing around with the spawns, and this is a cute little slime. They come in all different sizes. I'm assuming they will, just like the PC, and uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. So now, if we go back to the picture of the wolf, another hostile mob would be a silverfish. Now, he just talks about adding the silverfish in the actual description of the of the picture, whatever you want to call it. He doesn't actually put a picture up, but we can assume that he's being truthful, and there will be silverfish in, um, in the update. At least you can probably spawn them through eggs and whatnot, so that'll be very cool. Um, let me go ahead and I lost my spot. Goodness gracious. Oh, no. Oh, no. I lost my spot. Where am I? Ah, here we go. All right. And then, of course, possibly gas, which would be absolutely incredible. So now, the world generation, right? The world generation. This is another huge topic people are super excited about. Existing worlds will optionally become infinite. A lot of the infinite, you know, stuff that I've already been talking about. Basically, that's pretty cool. Now, the port of the M Minecraft PC, PC um, world generation. Um, it, we're getting a port of the of the PC world generation, allowing for more structures and biomes. You know, we're going to get rivers, and I'm going to talk about more of the biomes later on. So we're going to go ahead and start with the structures. We're 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 going to get villages. So Mojang underscore Tama, which is Tommaso Chechi, um, went ahead and put on Reddit, we are adding villages, empty villages would be the saddest thing, so yeah, the purpose of the villagers is just to be there for now, which I talked about, they're not going to be able to trade or anything like that, but they will be adding that in the future, so villages are going to be generated in these worlds, 0.9.0 worlds, which are going to be fabulous. Also, a new generation you know, a feature would be the caves. I've talked a little bit about this, but caves and tall grass will be added in 0.9.0. And if you go ahead and look at this other picture where Tommaso Chechi was just messing around with the render distance, um, there are a lot of, you can kind of see caves throughout there. So that's, that's, that's pretty cool. So the next feature, um, I don't know if this was intentional, but we do have a picture of lava pools inside of a cave, I'm assuming. Um, this is another Tommaso Chechi tweet. Um, he was just, you know, he just reached six, 60,000 followers. So we went ahead and put a picture up of these cool diamonds. But as you can see in the top left corner, there's a lava pool. So that is a super cool generation feature along with the caves and just underground features are all sick. So the next feature we can see here, I don't know if this was intentional also, but we do have signs of rivers. We don't have rivers right now. Right now we just have ponds and lakes and whatnot, but rivers are an actual biome that, you know, wind through different biomes and stuff, and it's a really, really cool generation technique, so I'm really glad that, as you can see in this picture, we, we do have a great chance of getting rivers, because that's what that definitely looks like. Now, we will also be getting abandoned mine shafts. This is another underground um, feature, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. So, you know, of course, Lin Ilinda, what, Ilindia, whatever whatever her name is, I can't really look at that. That's, that's actually really small. She asks, are there going to be mine shafts on Minecraft PE like the PC version? And Jeb simply says yes. So I'm assuming that means yes. <laughs> that means yes. We also may be seeing huge mushrooms, which are the, of course, large versions, because these would be in the roof forest, which are coming, 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 yes, yes, yes. And then we may see strongholds to go along with the silverfish, and maybe ravines to go along with the mine shafts. We're not too sure. There's not as much confirmation on those features as on the other ones. But, um, 
that that'd be pretty cool. So the next kind of features, the next features I want to be talking about are the trees. Now, Johan Bernhardt tweeted a picture, added added trees today. Still the wrong color on the stuff, but it's getting there. So he does have a few funky colors along what's going in the items bar and whatnot. But as you can see, he does have a nice jungle tree in the back. A few other things. He, if you look down into the, if you look down into the cool little um, the cool little uh, what is it called? Item item bar. He does have a few saplings, um, dark oak trees, acacia trees, um, and whatever else you may have in there. It's really hard to tell what those are from what I'm looking at, but I will get along to more of the trees. He he has added basically every tree for every biome. <clears throat> so, I mean, these are only a few of the saplings that will be added, which is absolutely ridiculous. Now, some new natural generations. Now, these weren't generated before. They may have been in the game like pumpkins, but these never actually generated. So now we're going to be seeing pun pumpkin patches thanks to the new world generator, as we can see from this Johan Bernhardson tweet. Also, tall grass, which has been confirmed 50,000 other times, I've already said. I'm just going to go ahead and go down the list. This is a generated block. Also, dead bushes. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you can see in this new world generator in action, the one that you guys saw for the river, um... You can see some dead bushes down there, so we can go ahead and assume that these from the PC generation will also make their way over. Also, if we look into this um, tweet by Tommaso Cecchi, nice little picture. He's just showing off the showing off the forest and whatnot. You can see some ferns down there. So ferns are going to be another block that were already in the game, but will finally be able to uh, be what's it called? You know, generated and whatnot. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat's beginning to hurt. All right, so the new biomes. Now, those were all the blocks and, and the features and whatnot, but the biomes are probably the coolest thing about it. There are going to be jungles. Jungles. A lot of people were doubting this because of how much lag they would have caused with their leaves, but um, Tommaso Cecchi went ahead and proved everyone wrong. He said, we probably will add jungles by making the leaves non-transparent. So what that means is there's no longer going to be the holes in between each individual pixel or whatever, so that, um, you won't get as much lag. It'll just be like a regular block. So the jungles will be absolutely incredible. It'll be like, even if you're on fancy graphics, the leaves will be on normal graphics just so you don't lag. I think that's a great idea, and I, th I'd much rather have that than no jungles at all. So that's really, really cool. Also, we may be seeing the Mesa biome, which is basically a Grand Canyon-looking thing. It's a really, really cool biome. The Plains biome, Tommaso Cecchi went ahead and tweeted um, a picture of a nice pine forest, a taiga biome, whatever you want to call it, with some hills in the background. But as you can see, there's a nice plains going right through there, so there will be plains. I mean, that already was confirmed, but there we have a picture of what it will look like in the game, which is absolutely crazy. And then, of course, roof forests. Um, they need to test whether or not they need to make the transparent leaves just like they're doing the jungle, but roof forests will be added. If they're adding the jungles, they have to add the roof forest. I mean, it's just common sense. I mean, jungles are bigger and probably lag a lot more than those. So it would just make sense. All right, so the next feature we have is savannas. Now, there are two instances of this, so these are absolutely confirmed. Now, what we have here is, so Elliot Future Gaming asks, I have two questions. Savannas are added and did the log texture change like in PC? Like he's talking about the top how You can see the bark or whatever. I'll talk about that later. But he said yes and yes. And here's another picture. Pretty grass transitions, which is absolutely ridiculous. This is a savanna biome and it's just looking great. Also, some more biomes that may not have a picture of them. The taiga biome, which I already showed you guys. Some extreme hills. I mean, we've already seen a little bit of that, but uh, there will be an official biome for it now. Mushroom islands, um, deserts, and the far biome, which is uh, basically a version exclusive biome, and it's going to be found at the edge of infinite, or edge of finite worlds. So not infinite ones. I don't think those have edges. Duh, duh, duh. Um, but um, the finite world's the larger ones, I'm assuming, are going to have this far biome, which you have to travel very far for, hence the name, and stuff like that. So, in the blocks and items category, the new blocks and items, we are going to be seeing monster spawners. And um, along with monster spawners, which are going to be really cool. I mean, it's just simple. Those will go in dungeons. So we can assume that they're going to be making dungeons and whatnot. That will be very helpful. We are also going to be seeing hardened clay. Now, if I go ahead and pull up this picture, some of the new blocks in 0.9.0, this features all the stained clay available in, like, what is it, 16 colors. It features red sand, mycelium, 
Podzo packed ice. Like, well, no, this doesn't feature packed ice. Excuse me. This also features Andestite uh, with a polished version, Diorite with a polished version. It features a ton of stuff, a ton of new planks, stairs, and saplings. The jungle sapling, the acacia sapling, and the dark oak sapling. A few other flowers. We have the poppy, blue orchid, allium, azure bluette, tulips, oxide, daisy, sunflower, lilac, Rosebush, peony, vines, lily pads, cocoa pods, double tall grass, large fern. Those are all the plants and whatnot. Now, we'll go back and we will actually look at the picture a little bit more. You can see um, it's all there and it's all pretty cool. Now, um, going on to the next thing, we do have packed ice. Now, this was a tweet by Tommaso Cecchi. Yeah, because our ice has always been opaque, the same ice we already had. We'll just have a different name. So they're going to officially split up the two ices into two different categories, just like that, and then we'll have packed ice. Very, very simple. Also, we are going to be seeing granite and polished granite, which I forgot to mention is in the picture before, but you may have seen it or not. It doesn't really matter. It's just kind of in there like that. All right, so the, you know, the flowers and saplings I all named. So other. He also said... Jeb, being the person I'm referring to, said, I work on both MCP and MC, and I can. I can add Enstone to 0.9.0 if I remember it. So hopefully, if he remembers, Enstone will be added. I don't know. It's not going to be a survival feature. That'll probably just be a creative block, considering that the end isn't added yet, and we haven't heard anything about it. Um, but Enstone would be not... We know, I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad if he went ahead and just added it for no reason. I mean... Sometimes we gotta do that. Next on the list. Sorry this is taking so long. I told you guys it would. I mean, this is a very, very extensive update. So I think we may hit 30 minutes on this video, which is going to be pretty cool. But taming, right? Taming. Very, very cool feature. Um, basically, we've already gone through that with the wolves, though. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that one. It, you know, you do have the, the tilted head wolf. Pretty, pretty cool. Particles. Um, this guy went ahead and tweeted, is it possible to add this to MCPE? And he went ahead and added a picture from PC of water dripping through a ceiling where there is water above and it drips through the ceiling in little particles. And he said, yeah, that's awesome. I forgot about that. Um, so he said on the to-do list to go. So he's going to be doing this. Um, uh, you know, he's going to be doing this if he has, of course, enough time, which he clearly states in the tweet. So we can maybe expect to see this or not. Um, the next thing on the list, sorry, I, my brother just walked in and it is all funny, but, um, yeah, the next thing we have on the list is, um, cre creative inventory add-ons. So these are just going to be, uh, raw beef and bones, which we saw in the earlier pictures. Nothing too special though. So next on the list, beds no longer restore health, which is a little bit of a fix update bug. They kind of just went with the PC and they, and they just stopped the beds, um, no longer restoring health because, what that did was that made it really, like, not... Use, the food wasn't very useful. You could just sleep whenever you want. And it really wasn't a challenge. So they are finally going to remove that, which is something I actually i am going to appreciate. I think that's going to be very cool. Also, a lot, another fix is the mob AI. They are going to improve all the all the mob AI, as you guys can see. Wartic Films went ahead and asked, are you guys going to fix the hostile AI system? It's weird how passive mobs are smarter than hostile mobs. And then, of course, Jeb replies with, we'll update the AI system to match the one for PC. So, I don't know how smart the PC mobs are, but they're going to be that smart or dumb, however you want to, you know, take it. <laughs> um, anyways, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. So, they're adding new texture, like I said. Here we have a Reddit post. They're only adding new texture for the top of Bruce Spurts in Junglewood. Bruce... Bruce is a person's name. Spruce... Birch and Jungle Woods. Sorry I messed that up. But yeah, they'll be adding the new textures for the top of that. Right now, it's just all one generic color. And they might, they also will be adding the bark around the edges, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, like that, the textures on the jungle leaves and possibly the roof forest leaves, like I said, may be opaque, meaning not see-through. Some biome-tinted blocks, if you guys haven't already seen... Um, the grass can change color when you change biomes and stuff like that, like the savanna picture, whatever, you, you know, this is all, this is all where, this is all very well known. So with that being said, that's basically the update. Now this is absolutely incredible. There are so many features. It's just, it's just, it's looking to be the best thing of all time. I mean, this is going to be an awesome, awesome update and I just can't wait for it. So with that being said, I hope you guys like this, what, 24 minute video. This was absolutely ridiculous. 
Um, there are a lot of things, though, and this is going to take a long time to edit. Gosh darn it. But it was worth it. So, if you guys went ahead and, you know, thought this video was cool, thought you liked this video, please let me know by dropping a like, leaving some feedback, telling me what you guys want to see in this update, and tell me if you guys are excited for it. I hope you guys enjoy. I will talk to you guys later. And as always, do me a favor. Stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya.